Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps and today I'm going to show you uh, or try to show you how to find better links to put in your listing or when you pin item or when you want to link from one place to the other so that it's more uh, search, search engine friendly. So the first thing I want to show you is that a link like this that, that does not have a question mark in it is called a natural link. Search engine tend to prefer those natural link rather than unnatural link. Uh, let's see if I click on this for example you can see that eBay tries to have a natural link because search engine like this better. If I click on let's see this item here for example you can see that it has a question mark right here. Oops. And eBay happens uh, a lot of things at the end of it to track this item. But the fact is search engine don't really like all of that. All of that thing that's after the question mark that I'm going to remove. And eventually they will index this item. But if they find this link with all of this mumbo jumbo or all of those um, parameters after it will put it on the bottom list of what's interesting for the search engine to crawl and it will try to crawl all of those natural links first. So the first thing I want to show you is that by simply removing everything after the question mark and pressing enter, you can sometimes get the exact same result. So for example, if you would want to link this item or pin this item or put it on Facebook, you could have the whole link with the question mark and everything after, right? Uh, that was there before. Let's see if I go back and click back again, go back to the item. You could use this whole link and it will work. It will link to it. But search engine might just not like it or they might put you at the bottom of the list of things to crawl. So by simply removing uh, some of those parameters and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can simply have a better link, one that is natural. Uh, I want to show you another little trick too that I found out is that if you remove the item number here after the slash, it does what's called um, a link that does not work. So uh, you have to try to find some of the links that will work for you. Sometimes removing some part of it does not work. Sometimes it works. So let's say, for example, you would want to plug to um, put, put a link into your, your item to another item. You could find this link, like, uh, like I showed you, remove the parameters, and it would work. But uh, another thing that you could do is instead of linking to the item directly with this URL here and removing all of the blah blah after, that again works well, what you could do instead is instead of pointing to this just this item here, I could point wherever I'm going to put the link to the red wigs, for example, in my category. Because if this item right here is not available anymore at some point, well then another one might and the link will still work because it points to my category where it will have red wigs. Whereas before it didn't have red wigs. It would just have this item and if this item is dead, it goes nowhere. So a link to a store category works better. Now same thing, if we look at this whole link up there, Everything after the question mark, we know that search engine are not going to like. So I'm simply going to remove it. And guess what? It goes to, uh, goes to my store. Now it doesn't go to the red wig category. So let's see if we can monkey with that link a little bit. And it doesn't look like it. Um, but what you have to do is try to find those links that will work better for you and that will uh, display what you want without having those question mark. So I hope this helps some of you play with those links, try to find, you know, again, 
uh, some links that will work better for you that will point you know to some of the categories that you have in your store or something that will be more interesting than just pointing to one item uh, to make it easier for somebody to find your items even after the the link is not working if the item is gone then it doesn't point to anything whereas if you you point it to your store it works it will still go to your store will still point to wigs it will get potential uh, customer so study those links and try to find some of the links that do not have any question mark after uh, you know again you can try to browse left and right and try to find some ways to to link to those uh, link those pages that you have you know you can see for example as well here that this maintenance week page that I have is a natural URL right here it doesn't have any question mark search engine likes those so if I would put this link into my items, it would most likely be indexed. And therefore, when somebody would search for wig maintenance and care, they would hit my page and potentially then get into my store and search for some other wigs that I have or other item uh, that you might sell. So look for those links. Look for those links that are natural uh, in search, meaning that they do not have those question mark after and uh, see if it helps your your ranking this trick works for every single SEO it does not have to be just for eBay item it works with every link search engine like better uh, likes natural links rather than links with parameters into it hope this helps everybody and uh, feel free to comment below uh, feel free to like, subscribe to our channel, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks!